The dogs are fighting and they climb on the snow igloo and it stayed, stayed standing. <laughs> That's awesome, I wouldn't walk on it but it's strong. Good job my friends. So my friends were at the ranch and behind me Star Lodge that we built. I'll show you the video, it's unreleased. We built this uh, about two weeks before Christmas. So you can see unreleased footage of the build. So to build a teaching lodge, we have to cut a sapling from uh, the spruce trees. From this, oh, there's no sponsor. But look, there's a heart on the nose. Um, from, from, from those um, spruce trees, all the way down, remove the branches. Um, and, and let me show you what the poles will look like. Down to poles like that. They're gonna stand up and those trees, those trees that give their life to us are going to heal a lot of people that need the healing. And those people on their turn are gonna go heal other people and take care of Mother Earth and protect her. So thank you, thank you. Miigwech. What we're bringing over to Robbins to protect the house there. Uh, it's been called, the spirits has called the lodge to move there and you align the star lodge with the stars so it's good clear blue sky so tonight should be good to um, set it up there's gonna be ceremonies taking it uh, away from here and taking moving it at the house um, so sacred ceremonies so you won't see that on video but you'll see uh, us uh, a bit taking this lodge down and moving it to my friends Peace. See you soon. Mm. It's such a good place here. Uh, the energy is so good in the forest. And way back there, I'll go show you. That's where we cut the trees. Well, you'll see in the in the unreleased video that it took uh, like at least a month and a half ago. Just when we started building the lodge, and now bringing. Uh, our new friend that we just met today uh, works on a buffalo farm and he's gonna give us hides for the lodge and brought his dog and you now while people are chatting inside I like being in the forest so bring the dog for a walk huh. so we're way like way far, far on the path that I just recognized see the the big stump there well that's the tree the the firewood Ooh, deep snow <laughs> the firewood that was uh there we go hey buddy <laughs> the firewood that we're burning at the teepee that was left in the wood pile under the tarp well it's come from that tree there uh my friend and i we came here it was big fall in uh i believe it was maple but don't quote me on that it's big fallen and so we cut it loaded the trailer a full load and, and brought it back at the house and that's what we've been burning now uh i mean it's better to have dry wood dry for a couple of years uh but we needed fire we needed firewood we were burning through so much uh firewood every day in the teepee almost a quarter day i believe so oh, there you go that's uh it's coming from that tree right here behind me i was fallen and when we cut it the teaching i receive is when you cut it well all the all the little trees that were crushed under well we're giving them a chance again at life um and chance for new life as well so that's how mother nature provides for us and now it's a, it's a circle of life. All the um, all the spruce trees we took from from the bush there, a couple of them. Bush back there, a couple of them as well. Some further down there. Uh, we needed 35 of them, so we and, and it was a practice run. We built like a model star lodge to, so that we can build a bigger one later. But that one that we did was pretty big after all so we uh we just chose the ones that we uh the, 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 that we wanted 
and we cut them really low so that they have a chance to regrow and uh, thank them thank mother nature for providing them so that we can they can be used to heal many people and that those people in return can go protect mother earth um, once they're healed circle of life again it makes sense it's protection it's uh it's good it's good so miigwech my friends so my friends i walked you inside and um, it's beautiful 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 energy as well in star lodge um and then i asked uh there are sacred items in there and um so i ask the the the, the sacred fire is down so and i ask if i could film in there and i was told that uh you don't film don't record in the lodge or take pictures so you guys if you want to see inside you're gonna have to come visit us uh in sault saint marie on the old garden river road so we'll take this down shortly we received some teachings and uh, taken the lodge down and now the lodge is going to uh, to travel to the other location and the lodge is probably going to grow soon grow bigger grow bigger with bigger poles oh wait it's minus minus 14 right now and it's cold uh, the wind I guess really cold it's going to be a cold night so we're going to be bringing all the all the sacred uh, well, not the secret. That, that's the Star Lodge later, and bring it over here. Might take another day or two. We'll see. We'll see about it. But tonight, we're staying in the in the snow igloo, in the in the Quincy. Morning, my friends. Good sleep in the snow igloo tonight. It's about 4:20 a.m. Um. Time for shift change, keeping the fire. It's a good night. It's really cold. Um, I'll have to check the temperature. And good dreams. By the secret fire. <laughs> Under there, I had a little candle as well keep good uh, good light and it's it's slowly getting the 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 the, the roof uh over my head inside melted so that it's it's like slowly slowly melting it so that it creates like a ice uh wall for for protection plus when i crawl in it'll get start dropping snow on my head <laughs> so that'd be nice or in the sleeping bag. Um, I'm just, we're just sitting here protecting the items, sacred items around the sacred fire. Going to see sunrise. I may fall asleep on my chair. <laughs> we'll see. And. Uh, I realized why the mega the eagle flew by us yesterday in the last video. Uh, put the link come on top. Um, well, first of all, he was smiling on us. The, the eagle was smiling on us for uh, what I just said about all of us coming together and elevating each other. That's how. That's how we're meant to be as a community, the, the humans, uh, all nations. And the eagle came and, and smiled on us. He flew solo. It was about, like, in the, in the camera, like, it's, and you can't zoom in because it's a uh, it's face camera. The camera on phones is really, is good, but when you zoom in, it's no good. <laughs> but the eagle was about you take the, the um, 
electric pole there twice the height so about I don't know if that's 25 feet or something. Uh, the, the height of telephone poles with the eagle was like 50, 70, 50 to 70 feet in the air, flying just over us. A bald eagle. I, I, I clearly saw like the, the, the white tail and the white head. It was amazing. So the eagle came because we have an eagle staff right now that came later during the day as well. And you knew. So that's really cool. So my friend's starting to freeze. My hands are freezing. So I'll, I'll put my gloves on. Uh, stay under the blanket. By the fire. And uh, we'll speak later. Peace and love. I was just chopping wood for the sacred fire. Chopping wood back there. Can't show you the sacred fire. Uh, cause sacred. And spirit don't like camera too much. Um, so the house that we're standing in front of is the house that was busted. Well, busted. That uh, the police came for eviction two mornings ago. And uh, wait, actually, was it yes? Was it yesterday? No, day before. Uh, so I was just watching the the live that my friend did. Uh, that that's that's her house. And uh, if you want more understanding of what what's happening and why we're standing here. And why so many people came to protect the house when the police was here. And why the police turned around and left. Uh, in peace and love. Uh, I'll put the link in the description so that you can watch and, and, and read the article. And, and maybe watch um, the life that my friend did where you can get a lot of understanding of what's happening right here. And why I'm sitting right here in front of the sacred fire and sat since uh, 4, uh, 4, 10, 4, 15 this morning. And uh, why so many people are coming to help and why we're going to put a lodge here, a star lodge. And where pe people are going to come and heal from drug addiction, this star lodge and it's happening right here. Protect the house, protect our friend. Like Mother Nature. Peace. So earlier when I was keeping the fire while the sun was rising, or earlier this morning, uh, I was chopping wood. I was I was getting like really cold. And I was chopping wood back there. And I got to this log. <laughs> and I was trying to cut it, trying to cut it, and like reverse backing it on the other log, and uh, the axe is stuck, is stuck. But got a crack there, so I'm gonna go get the uh, my knife and the little hatchet and build a little wedge. With, uh, with another piece of wood and hopefully we can stuck that in the in the crack down there open it up so that we can pull the pull the axe out now we need the axe to get more firewood going my friends I had a shave so that's gonna help out for sure with the fire keeping <laughs> And to get this axe out of the log. So what happened is that the camera is too, too close, but uh, I wanted to split this. And as you see, there's another uh, branch on the tree going out there. So this, this 
part of the wood is really strong and it just wouldn't split so I was um, when it was the axe was stuck in I was lifting it reverting it on my head bam slamming it against the the, the hi slamming it against the the, uh, the cutting log so it got in really deep and now it's stuck so I can't get it out uh, and I want, don't want to force it too much and break the handle so what I did is go get my little latchet um, there is there is a line going down at the front so I could wedge in my little latchet armor on it make space to get that axe out um, but what if that doesn't work then I got two axes stuck in so what I'll do is build a wedge first with this piece of wood so just cut it uh, I'll use the saw and then we'll make it as a point like as a V so then when I wedge that in the crack and armor on it it's gonna spread the wood and then I'll have uh, I'll be able to to uh, use this one in case it doesn't work because if I uh, if I just go and try that one and then it's sucked then how am I gonna cut the wood so <laughs> start build the wedge first um, that's a, a, a trusty uh, trick I saw in a video so I'll link it uh, up there turn your annotations on by the way when you watch the videos on this channel I make a lot of recommendations to uh, past videos or videos of other people where I learn because this is the YouTube University I learned lots of skills um, lots of skills for survivals and lots of skills in life in general uh, you can get from people that have done videos on it on YouTube so let's work on that my friends I brought a saw that we bought in the kit last week first time gonna be using it brought it in the forest but never ended up using it um, and I'll show you a trick I learned for cutting this piece of wood ah it's too low <laughs> I got <laughs> that's funny um, but that's okay you can like hold this really strong and cut um, so let's try it which one would be best for the wedge? I've hammered on that one a lot, so... Well, actually... It's kind of the same. There's a crack in the middle, so hopefully it doesn't break. See? It's good, but it's going to take a long time and it moves. So you got to, like, rest it on your, on your feet or something. Um, trick I learned put the saw between your legs maybe the handle down there so it doesn't move as well as planned because uh, the saw was bending and when I was sawing and then it's not a straight cut but well actually I got a straight cut right there so at the other end so I'll use this to hammer it on prepare the wedge on the other side now it'll be good because we need more firewood and I need the axe to split those are too big can see this is really really sharp remember I cut my finger just putting it in the sheet the other day 
in the axe cover. So see, we're, we're making like a V shape. Uh, a V shape where I don't want to cut my finger. Hello. Hey. I'm making a wedge because I got the axe stuck. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Woo. You're an angel, my friend. I gotta go back to work. <laughs> Miigwech. See you later, alligator. Oh no! <laughs> now it's getting too thin and I'm bending the end. So, hmm. Beginner's mistake. Hopefully it digs in the crack because if I go too thinner than that, it's gonna, it's gonna break. Okay. So, well, I can use that as a hammer to wedge it in. So now, there's the crack that we want to work with. So I put the, the wedge in the crack like this, and then I'll hammer it in. So use the axe as a hammer. Let's get back a little bit so you can see something. And well, we just get it going straight so I don't break. Oh. <laughs> There's a problem. It's wedging the little crack that's not the crack where the wood is. So now we're like, it's probably even more stuck. Well, maybe, maybe not. Let's try. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> okay. Uh, will that break a little bit? How are we gonna do that? Well, uh, I'll put a log on the fire, it might be too big, but... Uh, Have a, a, a bit of fun. We're gonna chop that with this little latchet compared to this big one. Since the other, since the other axe is stuck. Uh, it, it does look like hardwood, and there's a knot, but. So if you if you swing standing, then you run the risk of missing the log, going through, hitting your leg. So I learned that trick. You kneel. You kneel. So even if you overswing, it'll just dig in the ground. Now with the longer axe, it made sense. This one I'll have to go back because it'll just dig in my knee, which is uh, much maybe worse. Hardwood. Uh -oh. <laughs> Going to have to burn my stick. Well, there's this one that should be.
easy enough to split. It looks a bit rotten, but um, I want a good straight one so I can do the trick. You know, the shoulder. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it worked. So the head of the armor is really light and the log is much much heavier so you can split the wood like that. So let's do it with that piece. <laughs> almost hit the tripod camera on the fire but it did split uh, almost all the way so, uh, pull it apart uh, same thing again so that's going on the fire Shorter logs burn quicker with more flames, uh, which is what's needed right now because the fire's running low. Now to get this out, I think I have to go back to YouTube University. Uh, yeah, I'll be back. And I need to call my friend Dan who's going to get firewood for the other TP. We gotta go get firewood, probably cut a tree. Uh, a fallen tree and then cut it in pieces, bring it back here. We have enough, enough for tonight probably, but not enough for tomorrow. So now that I got two axes stuck in there and that I split the shaft of my little latchet uh, yeah we're <laughs> I'll, I, I think what I'll do is saw this oops so I'll saw this like that choop choop and then uh, it'll be easier to manage so see you soon <sighs> It's not <laughs> so many blades in there. <laughs> Two axes, the saw. It's not easy. It's really, really, really hard wood. Uh, with big knots. If you try to chop something and it just won't, um, maybe just save the piece for like to sit on top of it or use it like a big block so you can cut wood on top of it. Because, well, I learned broke uh, my hatchet and well now I've got a lot of sawing to do huh. well that took me practically an hour and a half or and not containing the work I'd done before so at least two hours to get the axe out of that log it's finally starting to crack <laughs> but I I won't I won't try to split it more, so I, I chomped a lot out there, managed to remove the little latchet, uh, and then 
Look, that got that grew bigger because I, I just reversed it on my shoulder and slammed it down and thought like it removed enough pieces of wood to uh, to make it weaker. Whoo! What a strong log. When the fire's big, just put it in the fire and it'll burn the whole thing. <laughs> fire is strong. So my friends, wow. Split an axe, uh, the shaft, the handle. But got the other two out, so that's good. That's good. And the wedge, well, it worked ish, not so much, but it was a really hard piece of wood. So, uh, might test it again. Big wedge. Good morning. Early morning. It's just past 4 20 a.m. Uh, at 7 alarm at 4 to stoke the fire. And what's really nice is I can see now you see the light from the candle in the t in the mini igloo, uh, snow igloo, <laughs> Quimsy. And but between my legs, um, I can see from the door of the igloo, I can see the uh, the fire, the sacred fire. It's going strong now beautiful there's wet and snow falling so the logs are going to be quite wet and make sure the fire is going Ooh, i'll sleep for another hour or two i put an alarm at six just to make sure i go stoke the fire again ah, my friend had stoked it uh, around two, I had put uh, a couple logs at the midnight. Fire keeping 101. <laughs> you could, you can also stand by the fire, which I do all day. Um, I gotta get some sleep. I wish I could show you the fire that I'm seeing right now when I look up from the screen. Just I just see it like the door reaches like just top of the fire. The top of the door and then there's a bit of a, a, a climb so it's just it's just showing up. It's beautiful. Gwetch. I again, it's just past 6.20 a.m. I just stoked the fire outside. It's really windy. The chairs were flipped. Um, It's really cold and, and lots of snow. The fire's still going good. There was good flames. Uh, put lots of logs on the fire. In the pile we split last night. Um friend came over and he helped split wood so that was awesome um yeah go back sleep for uh, an hour or two if i can before i go stoke the fire again uh bring lots of snow in with me on the on my shirt on my clothes going in and out this snowy glue but the shelter really works keep the warmth in the sleeping bag I'm, I'm, I'm like really well in here it's really comfortable uh, considering when I was outside for 5 minutes stoked the fire it was really cold and windy and snowing <laughs> so, this shelter, awesome. Talk soon, my friends. Hey, my friends, fire's still going. Look at the snow. <laughs> it was, uh, let's say, when I got out of the 
the Quincy, well, I saw smoke, so I was happy. Fire still going. And there were flames. Uh, uh, luckily, the lo uh, one log was on top. And the embers were under it, so. Fire back up. It's just snowing. Uh, big wet snow. Uh, we'll need to find some kind of. Like, like the. Uh, bring the lodge. Or TP today to protect the fire. See you later. That smells good. Mm. Yep. Not showing the sacred fire, but look what we did with the snow situation. And now there's power corp at the front, wondering what they want. That's been in the TP for so long. What has? The sign. Oh, oh yeah, you could tell. Look at it. Yeah. <laughs> I'd put it to patch the hole that was <laughs> the tarp. Plus, every time I could not read it, it meant there was too much smoke inside. So, oh, had to yeah. do something. That's a good sign. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> so much snow in the world. Good for someone that has a real nice snow globe. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Bum up peace. Oh yeah, bum up peace. Not the place to stop, buddy. Hey my friends. So there was a use for the mini TP and the TP skirt after all. Because we tried to make it a tripod with the TP skirt, it just wouldn't hold. Then we added some poles, made a shelter for the night. Uh, with the tarp around, but then it was standing right there next to my Quimsy, uh, the snowy glue. And, but it was hiding the view from the sacred fire from inside the house, so I took the tarp down, and there, there was just the poles. And this morning, while well, it's snowing so much and it's wet snow, and it was taking it, it was rough on the on the sacred fire, so my friend had an idea. But well, I went to uh, I went for a nap. Because uh, I, I, I kept the fire all night and woke up every uh, every hour or two to uh, to tend to the fire. So I, I did. I went for a nap in the living room, and then my friend had a great idea: is move the the poles over the sacred fire and put the tarp there. So that's awesome. Now the fire's protected. We're gonna have to uh, go get this, the the star lodge later today or tomorrow or whenever, but. Uh, it's gonna be great having a, a big lodge that you saw in the videos previously to bring it here uh, because it's quite an undertaking to move a lodge. So my friends, peace and love, and remember, guys, when you do good, good things come back to you. And and, and this is well, we did a good, <laughs> a good mini TP, and now it's protecting the fire, which is awesome. Um, so. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thank you for joining me and joining us on 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 um, on Creator's Time today. And we'll see you guys soon. There are so many good things that are going to happen. Oh, I just learned some uh, power dance moves uh, on the computer. My friends were playing uh, power sweat. I'll put the link. I'll put the link. Uh, you can see with the annotations up there. You can try it yourself. It's awesome. A little workout as well and learning some power dance moves. So maybe by spring, if I practice enough, I'll be able to dance. Um, I'll, I'll have some, some more moves in my in my uh, agenda. I'm on, I don't know. How do you say? How do you say? Comment below. How do you say? I met plusieurs cordes à mon arc. So more uh string to your bow i don't know if that's uh that's a saying so comment below let me know how to say that friends peace and love love you all <laughs>